play two Your games. Your first Jeopardy category is astrological terms. Eleven and nine. It's the angle planets make with each other, or a type of width to height ratio in a television picture. What is a uh, aspect? Good job. Your next category is history. The spinning jenny and the power loom are products of this revolution that began in the mid 18th century. What is the industrial? Yes, that's correct. The category is nine letter words. Sir Francis Bacon is credited with coining the phrase, this is power. Uh, nine letter word. This is power. Again, the category is nine letter words. No clue. Sir Francis Bacon is credited with coining the phrase, this is power. What is that? I don't know. The correct response was what is knowledge? knowledge. Our category is unusual contests and prizes. What? A chimpanzee drew the winning number in a billion dollar TV contest, sponsored by this new generation soft drink. What is Sprite? No, that's incorrect. The correct response was what is Pepsi? Our category is a power caller. This state's status as the U.S. leader in producing wind energy has been credited to former Governor Rick Perry. But it's Texas. Yes, that's correct. The sixth category is the TV show Must Go On. Ashton Kutcher replaced Charlie Sheen for the ninth season of this sitcom. What is Two and a Half Men? No, no that's incorrect. The correct response was What is Two and a Half Men? Let's see what's in store Literally for the double said. Jeopardy round. Our category is Face the Author. His face was seen, without Carl Bernstein's, on the back cover of the 2015 book, The Last of the President's Men. It was Woodward. Correct. The eighth category is Northern California. A Northern California beach, known for purple sand, or a Catwoman actress named Michelle. Uh, what is I don't know? Michelle. The correct response was what is Pfeiffer? Our next category is Mama and Dada. Mama is the mother to brother, sister, and honey in this children's book series, named for its author Stan and Jan. Why does I don't know? I don't have any clue. Pfeiffer. No. The correct response was what is the Berenstain Bears? Didn't rob this game. Our 10th category is going out of business. Berenstain Bears. This retailer that created Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer shuttered in 2001. What is, uh, shuttered in 2001? Sorry, the correct response was what is Montgomery Ward? Our 11th category is on the movie's soundtrack. More than a woman, and How Deep Is Your Love were featured in this 1977 film. What is staying alive? No, no fuck, the I correct hear response that. was What is Saturday Night Fever? Saturday Night Fever, that's what Our I Our last mean, category that's is what the next word after. Oh, this category uh, is about Webster's third new international dictionary. In Webster's dictionary, the next word alphabetically after Goofy is this, a one followed by 100 zeros. What is it, Google? Plex. Yes, that's correct. All right, let's see how you did on this set. Terrible. Alrighty, you scored five out of 12 clues. You have responded to 817 clues correctly since you began playing Jeopardy. You've already played all the clues this week. Come back tomorrow for your daily J6 clues. And that game went terrible. It went all downhill. I played three games in a row. One first game was pretty good. I was like 11 out of 12. Next game, I was like 10 or 9 out of 12. Then that game, I was 5 out of 12. But I got robbed on like one clue, and I was talking, and it totally set me back when I got robbed. But it was early on, too. It was like two and a half men. Uh, Ashton Kutcher took over for Charlie Sheen in which show? And I was like, two and a half men. And she was like, incorrect. It's two and a half men. I was like, that's exactly what I said. Exactly what I said. Uh, but yeah, some of those were dumb like I, if i paid better attention like bernstein bears like what was going on there like i'm pretty sure if i actually listened to the clue i probably would have done a lot better on that but uh, whatever thanks for watching